the revolution, road. you know, as Chairman Mao says, is not a dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> it's a struggle between one class and another for control of the social system. So when you guys tried to... If you had a revolution here, you would have to throw out the capitalists. You'd have to assassinate the bankers. You'd have to line the Republicans yeah. up against the wall. Wouldn't be nothing nice. You'd have to put Karl Rhodes in on a pipe, you know? <laughs> Do you think maybe some revolutionary thoughts needed to maybe evolve as a society? No. You think no. we're just fine? No, I don't think we're fine at all. Um, I don't think you need revolutionary thought to affect change in a society whose framework is built on permitting change. They still don't win. Well, I don't know. You win by fighting. <laughs> you win by resisting. You know, you win by not going along with the program. I think. So what advice do you have to people in their 20s in America now? Do what you want. And what about the revolution? Well, if you want to have a revolution, have a revolution. <laughs> you got to decide what you want to have, what kind of world you want to live in, and then try and make it happen. Even if you don't win, you have a ball trying to do it. We had a ball. We had a ball. Day in and day out. Except for the police, we had a ball. We trying to demonstrate to our wives that there's a different way that we could live and we wouldn't have to be like that. It was wonderful. I don't know why they gave up on it, but I didn't. No, <laughs> I'm still the same. <laughs> it ain't a class war, it's a race war. It's a race it's war. It's definitely a race war. It's, 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 it's always war. gonna be one here, see? Who it's controls the money? Who the controls fault. the money controls everything. That's I don't right. care what, I don't care how you put it, or how you say it. He who controls the money controls everything. Yeah. White folks control the money. So poor white folks got it better than poor black folks. Hell yeah! They got, they got, they got, they got they, much they, better. They got a little bit better chance. They uh, have. They got. Better. I mean, the, uh, the, uh, not, that's not saying that, but they got a little bit better chance. Well, though. well, a, a, a poor black, chance. a white person, another white person, well to do, they'll help them. But a poor black person, a, a middle class black person, they don't want to be bothered with them. They don't want to be bothered with their own folks. Once you get out of Dodge, let's go. <laughs> hey, they, they don't want, once they uh, ac accumulate well, their higher yeah, education or right, they right. doing good or they got a good job, but, they don't want to like be bothered with other like black said, folks so they think they're It's gradually changing. It's, 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 like it's a slow process. It took us 200 years to get to this point. It makes us take another hundred years to get to the next point. It's slowly yeah, well, turn around, slowly but gradually changing. That's it. It's not a overnight Ain't no process. Ain't no reflection on y'all. Though you know, well, we're just talking. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I, I, okay. What do you think about? revolution or any kind of government revolution. I've infiltrated many radical organizations and so forth and I've infiltrated the Covenant Sword and Arm of the Lord. I've infiltrated, I, I wasn't an actual member but I deal deals with the Bloods, the Crips, the Invisible Empire, the Knights of Ku Klux Klan, the Aryan Nation, the Hells Angels, the Banditos, the Oklahoma Outlaws, different organizations and so forth and there are a lot of people that have agendas but most of these people have an agenda, and the bottom line is usually the bottom line. Usually, they're into making money or getting ahead or getting what they want in the world more than they are about trying to overthrow the government and so forth. But I have met people. I, I framed a gun dealer named Mike Ash, and he would give you a discount on a 50 caliber bolt action or semi-automatic rifle if you said you were wanted to shoot the President of the United States, William Jefferson Clinton. He would give you a discount. I've met gun dealers that would give people a discount if they said they were going to use the weapon to kill the President of the United States, which I think is very unfortunate. Do you think revolution is possible? Well, of course, it entirely depends on how you de define revolution. Um, I think revolution was a way in which things were handled in the past. Um, and I'd like to think at this point that we're not, we don't need revolutions in any way. In other words, we don't need to turn everything upside down and start again like the French Revolution or, you know, 
what we really need is an evolution from where we are at this particular point. So the, um, the stuff which we haven't found useful drops away, and what we, found, what we find useful we can apply to the making of the new world. So no, not revolution really, but evolution from where we are now. Uh, and hopefully, you know, each of us have learned in our own ways that you can't solve problems through violence, you know, and that by being mean to other people, you discover that it's not a good life strategy. And, uh, you know, all, of the, all the things that one discovers in the course of a life of how to behave in a way that one can achieve the maximum, you know, without being screwed over by uh, anyone else. Revolution is always possible. I mean, it's a matter of people organizing and overthrowing the government. But there's no doing it without struggle and organizational effort and discipline. That's the noise of a revolution. You just got to do it. You can't do it by having a TV program. You know, you can't have it by making a movie or something. You know, the revolution is people getting together and fighting the government, you know, head on.